Hey everyone, this is Stamping Songbird and today I'm going to do a one page layout for Thanksgiving and it's going to be my cover page for my Thanksgiving album or if I put it in the same album as my Christmas um, layouts then I'll just make it the cover for the Thanksgiving section. So I'm using the spiced pumpkin paper pad in a previous video I called it a pumpkin patch. I don't know why I did that. I guess I had pumpkin on my brain, but it's called Spiced Pumpkin. It was a hot buy from Michaels. I got it for $4.99. It's got these beautiful um, fall pages I shared in uh, a Michaels haul, uh, the paper pads that I bought on that day. So I'm using two patterns from this packet here. So I'm going to show you that. So I'm using this page as the main body of the layout and it is just a beige page with acorns. And then I took um, this uh, black base paper with um, fall leaves and then just cut two strips, 11 and a half by, I wanna say, where's my ruler? Cause one came out a little bit shorter than the other. I don't know how I did that. So this is slightly longer than one inch and this is one inch. I don't know how I did that, but it's okay. Um, I also have a leftover photo mat from a previous layout that had white, a white mat on it, and it, this is four and a half by six and a half on red cardstock. And then I took that black base paper with the fall leaves um, to mat it at four and a quarter by six and a quarter. So I'm just going to use one photo mat because this is just going to be the cover. And it's super simple, I, I, this will be done in a matter of minutes. What took long was the paper piecing. So I have these paper pieces from, um, oh gosh, uh, Cuddly Cute Designs. <laughs> I always forget my companies. Um, and it's called Let's Get Stuffed. And everything is paper pieced. This was fun to do. The parts for the title were pretty, uh, were large. So I was able to... Um, do this easily so um, I'm gonna use this as my title oh I didn't uh, resize it either I just sent this straight to the machine as it uploaded into Cricut Design Space so this is the size that it is it's a little large but it's it's nice and it's just a cover page so it works so I'm gonna place that here on this side I believe or on this side and then the file comes with two little pilgrim turkeys or turkey pilgrims uh, the male and then the female um, you know I never give you guys measurements I'm sorry about that so this paper piece after it's put together will measure about six and a half inches on its tallest end and on its widest it's about six inches so six by six and a half the male turkey measures five and a quarter and at its longest wingspan five and a quarter the female turkey measures five inches tall and at her longest wingspan or feather span <laughs> is five and two eighths just about five and two eighths and I didn't resize the turkeys either I just sent them straight to the machine as they uh, uploaded on the Cricut design space okay so these are the only images that I'm using here and the only photo mat so you can see this is super super simple I have these two strips just to anchor the top and the bottom I have my beige background um, I found that the designs in that paper pad are absolutely beautiful, but they don't necessarily work with cartoony paper pieces. So they're probably best suited for just adding photos. So if you were not to have paper pieces, so you could see what I mean, and you just had your photos, you could have a photo here, a photo here, or several photo mats, and it would, I think it would work best, um, the patterns that are in that pad. But um, I chose the ones that were most neutral that would go well with um, all of these colors. 
So all I'm, all I'm gonna do is just adhere these guys down and then I'll be done. But I did want to share these beautiful uh, paper pieces with you since I hadn't paper pieced in so long, I started to do it again. And soon I am going to be out of commission because my surgery is coming up. So um, I have been creating a lot of layouts and um, trying to do paper pieces that don't have tiny pieces in them so that I could um, create those layouts and upload them to share with all of you. Um, so I am doing my best to do as many as possible. You'll see that some of them are not in order. <laughs> Like you'll see a Thanksgiving layout, then you'll see a school layout, and then you'll see some random bonus video on paper kits. Uh, but um, I'm just doing them as I go um, and when the opportunity hits. And actually, I work at lunchtime. I do this at lunchtime because so uh, I'm working online. So uh, every lunch, lunch uh, break that I have, I... Uh, create the design on Cricut Design Space and the next lunch period I'll do all the cutouts and then the next one I will create the actual layout video. So I will not be able to do anything with my right arm and it's not because of this. This is just for carpal tunnel. I have really bad carpal tunnel um, so I need to compress this part of my arm and um, it actually affects my fingers anyone who has it and this part of the hands and my thumb my thumb is really bad and so is my pointer finger so I'm sure you've noticed that when I press things down I don't use my pointer finger <laughs> and that's not even conscious it's unconscious but I guess the body knows right and so I'm gonna add this part um, this photo mat here I just don't know if I'm sorry about the coffee I'm going to just leave a little space there or if I am going to overlap it or just jut it up against the edge so maybe I should do the turkeys first. We're gonna put, um, let's see, he's a little taller and she's shorter. If I put him here, he's going to overlap with the photo and she doesn't touch that, so that's good. I think he's gonna have to stay here. I may have to move this up. And I don't usually like things to overlap the strips that I put to anchor the pages, but these are pretty large. Okay, so that's that's the way it's gonna go. So let's add her first. Yeah, so my surgery is coming up and I'm looking forward to getting better, to having, oh, it's my shoulder, my shoulder be repaired. So I've been in constant pain for, since before the closure in March. And I just deal with the pain, that's what I do. I, I'm not really into taking medication. I'll take it if I am like I can't take the pain anymore, but otherwise I'll just deal with it. Um, but after surgery, I'm sure that I will get better. It'll just take some recovery time. And the doctor is approximating a six month recovery, which I am not happy about. But we shall see. I'll be able to do very little things after a few weeks. So maybe I'll be able to paper piece after a few weeks. We'll see. Okay. Oh, I did fail to mention that I did something different. Um, I took a, a Jen from Crafting with Jen's, um, I guess her style or her method of uh, trimming the paper. So I usually trim all my papers before I lay them down. And um, I found that, and she's right, not all of your papers are exactly 12 by 12. But what I found was that your paper trimmers aren't all the same either. So I would go back and forth between two paper trimmers. I have a guillotine paper trimmer and then a standard Fiskars. And I would go back and forth between the two. And when I did that, and I would trim my papers to 11 and a half by 11 and a half, um, if I trimmed the main scrapbook paper pattern paper on one and then did all the other and did, did let's say the strips on another one on a different cutter they didn't match so I found that I was getting gaps on the sides even though I had measured correctly on the cutter but I switched cutters between projects and it just didn't um 
it wasn't a good thing so it wouldn't match so um what i did that jen does and i took her lead on that um is that you lay all your papers down so i laid my strips down on top of the pa this pattern paper and then i trimmed them trimmed it to 11 and a half by 11 and a half so that it would be even on both sides and it worked so she's absolutely right so thanks jen for that idea and i just messed up on okay no i didn't yay he doesn't have glue on the back of his hat i'm gonna have to overlap his hat with this photo mat i don't know why i always forget the word photo mat i think it's because my brain sometimes thinks in spanish and i was born here but english is not my first language it's actually english and spanish I learned both languages simultaneously, so I am fluent in both, but sometimes I'll think in Spanish and sometimes I will think in English, so that kind of gets in the way sometimes <laughs> when you're talking on camera. Okay, I really didn't want his head on top of the photo map, but if it's gotta be that way, it's gotta be that way. So I'm gonna have to overlap up to the red actually I could even move up a little bit more if you hear music in the back I have music playing in my kitchen loud enough for the whole house to hear I gotta have my Christian music on so I could have a nice atmosphere in the home okay Actually, I might add something extra. It just uh, dawned on me. Let me just move all this stuff out of the way. I have these extras from another um, layout that I did. And these were from Cuticans uh, Thanksgiving. Also from Cuddly Cute Creations, I think. <laughs> I hope so. I always forget. Um, and these were leftovers. So maybe I could add these. Not necessarily the chicken legs, or maybe I could add this there, add that there. Do I wanna add a little chicken leg or turkey leg? No, poor poor pilgrims, they're turkeys. I don't wanna do that, it's bad enough there's one up there. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. We got turkeys cooking turkey for Thanksgiving. Hilarious, or should I do that? I don't know why I think about these things at the last minute. Ugh, I'm terrible at this. Uh, let's leave it there. Got my nails done yesterday. Possibly my last nail appointment before surgery. But I think they came out really cute. Okay, oh my gosh, I talk so much today. So here is my uh, one page layout called Let's Get Stuffed by Cuddly Cute Designs. It comes with the title that has a turkey already cooked, a pumpkin, and then we have a female turkey pilgrim who is holding pumpkin pie. And then we have the male uh, pilgrim, turkey pilgrim, pilgrim turkey. <laughs> we have space for one photo, and this will be the cover page of my uh, Thanksgiving album or my Thanksgiving section in my holiday album. So that's it. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching, and I hope it inspires you to create a Thanksgiving layout and make some Thanksgiving memories this year. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye-bye. Thank you.